If you're just joining us from the other Selena video, thank you so much. From that Selena video, lots of comments, tons of comments, tons of emotion, wounds open up, wounds that don't want to be opened up, which I knew with this, this documentary would do, is going to do. And first of all, I really appreciate all you guys coming on by to uh, leave your comments. Uh, it, it is noted. And uh, it's, it's something that I knew that this salacious documentary is going to do now in this video like i promised uh, we have a first look at a scene from the documentary i haven't seen it yet i'm gonna watch and react with you guys um but what i want you to do is i want you to stick around for the whole video because i have a very special treat for you guys at the end of the video and also to right now remind you guys hit the latinoslant.com subscribe to our newsletter Every week, once a week, I send out a newsletter that you can't get here on YouTube only through thelatinoslam.com. All right, well, let's get right to it, man. Uh, TMZ, uh, Selena traveled with Yolanda after she allegedly stole money, Saldivar family claims. Hmm. So that's the article. In the article, they have a clip, and I want to get to that clip right away. Okay, it's on pause. I can tell you that this clip from the series is obtained by TMZ. Yolanda's family discovers first class United Airlines tickets for Selena and Yolanda on March 17, 1995, only eight days after Yolanda was accused of embezzlement. This, I believe, is going to be from part two of the two part. Um, docuseries drops february 17th the clip is from the second part which airs on february 18th i can also tell you on this uh this tmz story there is for people who are not have not have don't have any um historical information on who selena is and her 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 death her murder there is a great 20 minute uh audio podcast you can listen to called last days really good stuff but all right let's let's get to what we've all been waiting for which is the first look clip here we go monterey mexico yolanda and selena had traveled to monterey in the past uh, frequently trying to work and getting a fashion line started this looks like plane tickets mm. let me see although abraham you know, tried to, to fire Yolanda at that March 9th meeting. Selena and Yolanda continued their business relationship, their friendship. They continued still seeing each other. And we know this because we've got the plane tickets. Oh, so look at, look at here. So International Airport of Houston, IAH, to Monterey. Okay. And this was on 17. March 17th. Okay. There's two tickets. One's Yolanda's, the other one's Selena's. Okay. So they both flew on the same flight on March 17th from Houston to Monterey. So how interesting is that? Yeah. If she was embezzling money and they had that conversation during that meeting, why would she fly with her to another country? Yeah. If, why continue? If, why continue? Correct. Right? Yeah. Like why? Why, why continue that relationship? Yes. Mm. I had quit with her. I had sent her my letter of resignation and she wouldn't accept it. She was, you will not quit. Who's gonna handle my, my businesses in Monterey? Because in Monterey, the business was already blooming. And um, she said, you will not leave me with all of this. I can't handle all this. Remember, you placed your loyalty to me. And she convinced me to go. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Um, I do not, um, I don't get, okay, <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to process what I saw and my feet, my personal feelings, and then also to what show business is all about. It does not surprise me that the producers and Oxygen are going for have gone forward with this what is upsetting is that this is a recreated scene 
that they're trying to pose to you. They're trying to get the, the audience to, to, to uh, bring in that doubt. Well, look, here are the plane tickets. You see, you see, they were still friends. They were still friends. What's strange is that it's, the, it's Yolanda's family, the real siblings, doing this recreation. Um, it, it's a setup, right? You, you, you put them, you put the paperwork on the, on the table. It's not like this is the first time you're discovering this and the cameras are on. No, that's bullshit. This is a, this is a pre, this is a, re, you know, pre-rehearsed, pre, like they do in reality television shows, reenactment, but using real people. I would have, I would have, if I was the, the producers, I just would have used, uh, out of focus reenactment actors there's no reason to have the the in, you know these people reenacting oh look here that, that 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 does not sit well with me at all at all especially if you're trying to lay an argument to the court of public opinion which is pretty much impossible at this point that hey but this and that that I that that I, I did not uh, did not like at all, and um, I get it that the family and what Yolanda are trying to do, they're trying to lay the groundwork in what is a year from now her eligibility eligibility for parole. So I get that what 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 they're trying to do, and I get that uh, you know people want to see Yolanda's talking crazy from behind bars but this reenactment uh, it's not a reenactment it's 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 it it doesn't sit it really really threw me off because at the end of the day um and we're gonna we're gonna watch this and we're gonna review it from the information that i've gathered that i've always known and then you know kind of revisiting that that awful uh encounter no matter how you look at it selena was shot in the back and this was a an act from a very mentally unstable person. And that's just it. So sure, I, you know, let's say okay, Selena did did say and do all that. Hey, let's go to Mexico. Let's let's try to work on the business. That just speaks to Selena's, uh, you know, uh, her personally, <coughs> her um her great. Her great, uh, uh, you know, morals and values. Like she, she wanted to help out her friend. She wanted to give her friend another chance, even though her family was saying no, esta loca, you know, cut her out. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, what's? And we're gonna we're gonna see what their other arguments are for secrets. But as of ninety nine percent of the pu- court of public opinion, this woman was shot in the in the back. In cold blood, so um, yeah, uh, that was uh, that was hard to watch, uh, and like I said, I told you it really bothered me. I get why Hollywood is Hollywooding in this; it's pretty disgusting, it's pretty low, it's really low, and uh, I, 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 you know, Hollywood. This does not count as Latino representation, so just cut that shit out. <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay, so I promised you a, a you know an uplifting uh, you know gift at the end of this video. I had uh, a, an interview that I did with Noemi Gonzalez, who played Lisette Quintanilla, Selena's sister, in the television show, the Netflix television show Selena. So I want to share that with you right now. Go right now and check out our great talk that I had with Noemi Gonzalez, who played. Selena's sister in the Netflix television show. Wherever you're at, keep that slant. Fuerte. Gracias. Paz. Que viva Selena.